And we have here uh, Philip Durham with RTI International. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Uh, tell us about the research you're working on right now and you're presenting to uh, AAPS. Sure. Well, uh, tuberculosis continues to be a problem worldwide. Um, and incidence of multidrug resistance uh, is on the rise. Uh, and despite enormous effort in the discovery space, progress is still slow to address those therapeutic needs. Um, so one strategy is to look at repurposing older or existing drugs. Um, one way to do that is to change the route of delivery. And so what we specialize in is formulating aer or TB drugs and aerosols uh, for pulmonary delivery. Um, this has a couple of advantages. Uh, for one, it can circumvent oral bioavailability issues. Uh, so drugs that would otherwise be given via an injection, uh, we can give as an aerosol. Specifically for TB, uh, there's a lot of benefits to pulmonary drug delivery. So you want the drug concentration to be high in the lungs. Uh, and usually that requires a high oral dose because the drug is going to disseminate throughout the body. Um, the drugs are already given kind of at the limit of toxicity. Uh, and so if we give the, lung, the, the drugs via the lungs, we can increase the lung concentration while keeping the systemic concentration relatively low, and that reduces off-target effects. Um, another benefit is that the lungs are, uh, even though TB is a systemic disease, the lungs are the primary site of infection, um, as well as the primary site of the symptoms manifestation and the site of transmission. Um, so if you, if you take the bugs down, if you knock the burden down in the lungs, uh, you can improve the patient's life and you can reduce transmission. We delivered uh, an ester of pyrazinoic acid and pyrazinoic acid itself. Uh, we formulated it and spray dried it into uh, an inhalable powder. We exposed it to infected guinea pigs and what we saw was not only were we able to uh, reduce the bugs in the lung, uh, but as well as the spleen and the lymph nodes. Um, so, you know, we got systemic delivery of the drug. Now, the interesting thing um, is that it worked. So, pyrazinoic acid has been shown at high oral doses to be not, not effective. So, we're able to use a drug that otherwise uh, doesn't work orally. Uh, we were able to show that it was as effective um, as an oral therapy uh, at a higher dose. So, our lung delivery, we estimate that we delivered about one to two milligrams per kilogram. The oral dose is about 25 milligrams per kilogram. Wow. And the oral, the inhaled dose was as effective. Well, thank you. Thank you for being here. We appreciate your time. Well, thanks for having me.